Welcome to Word 2010 Table Tools. I'm Trainer Laurie. What are Word Tables? It's a chart for organizing data that's easier than using tab stops, if you've ever tried to do that. You can create or import them, and they're easy to format, and we'll show you how. You create a table simply by going to Insert Table. Now you have lots of options when you click in there. First, you can make an instant table just by choosing how many rows and how many columns. And you don't have to commit to it. It'll show you what it looks like before you ever even hit Enter. If you want to insert more rows, it's so easy to do. So don't think about how many rows you want to begin with. You don't know. I usually put in one for my header and one for my first row of data. And then I simply use the Tab key and your cursor tabs over, and when it tabs down to the next line, it creates a new row. Or you can use the Enter when you're outside the, the table, and uh, it'll put in a new row. Also, just so you know, if you use Shift-Tab, it'll make your cursor go backwards, which is nice. If your cursor's here, you can make it go backwards. You can easily move a table by clicking the Select Table tool and move it. If you right-click, you have a lot of options, depending on where you click. If you click on one cell, then you have all kinds of options, including inserting or deleting cells. If you select multiple cells, then you have the option to merge cells or delete those cells. If you select an entire row, then you have the option for inserting or deleting rows. Now remember, it's really easy to insert rows simply by clicking outside and hitting Enter. And if you select the entire table, that's the way you can delete your table. Either right-click or simply hit Delete. Some other options we have on our Insert tab. That's Insert Table. You can actually draw a table based on the number of columns, number of rows, if you'd like to see the number instead. But also, you have the option for Auto Fit. For example, you can change it from Auto to half an inch, so every column is exactly one half inch. If you use the Auto Fit to Contents, as you type, watch what happens. It Co the column grew wider as uh, as you type, and that's what the AutoFit Contents does. You can also draw a table. This is time consuming. A lot of people don't like it, but there might be times when you want to have it draw exactly what you want. One of the things that you can do is to erase certain lines uh, use on the Design tab, and uh, you can change the borders so that the bottom border is thicker or a different color, so you have more options with the borders when you're drawing your table. If you choose the Convert Text to Table, you can take something that has been separated by tabs or um, paragraphs and turn it into a table. It will guess generally correctly if you have your tabs in there right, but if you don't, uh, it might guess wrong. So you have two options. You can either uh, change the number of columns manually here or go and take out those extra tab spaces. The powerful thing with tables is the table styles. Um, once you've created a table, you can come in and change the styles easily without having to do it individually. Uh, just hover over the different styles and you can see it change. And when you click on it, it will make it a permanent change. You can also take an Excel spreadsheet right into Word without having to open up Excel. Click Excel spreadsheet and notice it, it might take a little bit, but it actually opens up Excel within Word. See, these are all the Excel tools, including my Quick Access Toolbar, and uh, it shows a little spreadsheet. And I can do everything that I could do in Excel right here in Word. And then when I click out of it, it turns it back into a table in Word. And when I click on it, I can change the size of it, but if I want to uh, edit the data, then I would double-click in it. When I double-click in it, it turns back into an Excel table, and look at this. You can even use your formulas. Quick tables are a great way to make a, a fast table, obviously, um, but especially um, calendars. Now, uh, the calendars aren't based on the year, so you will have to change the dates. And there's some other great uh, lists in here as well. And if you've created one that you really like and you want to save it to the Quick Tables, you can save your selection to the Quick Tables gallery and it will add it. So let's say we started the, the May uh, the calendar option, and remember you can move it or select the whole thing if you want to delete it. If you use the handle in the bottom corner, you can stretch it to make it larger. You can also just click on a line and drag it to make it larger as well, just, uh, just the cells that you've selected. If you choose the Properties tool from the Layout tab, 
then you'll have even more options. For example, you can say exactly how high you want it. Or if you want to uh, repeat the row as a header row at the top of each page, that's really convenient. If you have a long table and you don't want to have, <laughs> I used to actually copy and paste. Or before that, way back in the day, I used to cut pages and paste them literally at the top of the page. So this is a really nice tool. If you have imported a table, if you've copied and pasted it from somewhere else and it's too wide for the page, uh, then you go into Properties and you have the option to change the size so that it will fit. And 9 inches would be right for a 11-inch uh, wide paper. Under the Layout tab, there's you can change the alignment where your text is in the box is at the top or the bottom. You can also change your text directions. This is nice if you're going to have a chart and you, uh, but you want it in a table. You can sort from the Layout tab as well. So you can see that it is not sorted by topic, so I simply click in. I don't have to highlight the whole thing. Simply click in and then say Sort. And it will ask, do you want to sort by topic? Because that was the one I was in. Yes, that's what I want. And you can sort by up to three levels here. Make sure that it is selected if you have a header row. You can also do formulas without even having to open Excel. Uh, you can just click in where you want the answer to appear, go out to lay Layout, Formula, and you can choose the formula. If you know what it is, you can type it in. If uh, you want to change your number format, for example, you want to have dollar signs or if you want to have a percentage. And then if you're not sure what the function is, you can open and see all the functions that are available. If you see something on the web that you want to copy and paste into Word, you can do that. So I've selected it all, copied it, and then when I paste it in Word, I uh, want to convert it because it's uh, not only a table, but it's a table with nested tables inside it. So I go to Layout, Convert to Text, and I can choose to separate the text with paragraphs and convert nested tables. This is a really good tool. So I've done it. It looks pretty good, except there are some issues. So Remember, when you're pulling data from the web, you're going to have some uh, other, uh, maybe characters that don't make sense. You can just go clean those up, or a picture that might be embedded in the wrong place. But uh, it's an easy thing to fix, and it's certainly a lot easier than retyping it all. If you have one table and you need to have two tables from it for some reason, maybe you want to send it to somebody or you want to do some something unusual with the second table, you simply put where you want the split and then click on Split Table and it will put a space in. I also copied the header and pasted it down there. It didn't do that automatically. So that uh, it's just very easy now if I want to copy and paste this somewhere else. If you want to take two tables and merge them together, then you simply delete the space. However, when you do that, you can see that some of the lines don't line up in the exact same place. So to do that, you would want to click on these lines up here. But to have more control over it, hold the Alt key down while you're moving it, and you can move the column more precisely so that they'll line up easier. I hope you enjoyed it. That's all this time. And if you like it, please click it. See you next time. Bye.